Hello and welcome back to Dark Souls. If you're truly loved, this interview mad. Oh. Yeah, okay. I think we were planning on returning somewhere. I don't know why I'm going to walk there, but you know. Gets the chap done. Oh, plus, I get a few items on the way. Very few, but still, something. This guy didn't have anything for me. What a shame. I wonder if I could pick him scopes up with my head. Well, now is not the time to try it out. We have this company here. Or we'll just let be. Guess it's n not every corpse is meant to be picked up with my head. But those were extremely silly gifts. Oh, wait. Is that a one hit now? Well, yeah, I'm using the weapon two handed. I guess that would work. Maybe. I don't know. Possibly. Could work, I guess. Uh, anyway, my plan, my plot, my Tinker Magiker is to. Well, on one hand. What I could do is uh, I could. Ah, ah, I know what you were thinking, but I'm no good with those. It won't be easy, but I'm afraid you'll have to look for someone else. I forgot the font ember. Uh, anyway, what I actually meant was I could ever so slightly work on uh, actually using. Uh, the bow of Ferris instead because thing is it doesn't actually have any bonus effect it just has the longest range and I think it has a seriously exceptional dexterity scaling so yeah let's go with that Now I need six more souls until I can actually get it to another level. Don't get yourself killed. Neither of us want to see you go hollow. No promises. Uh, okay. I think it weighs the same, right? So now it's pure... Extra damage compared to whatever it was before. Now, Demon Titanite. Titanite Demon. Whichever. I have a strong suspicion that they are not particularly weak towards um, slashing damage, but I don't think I can use the Great Sword of Artorias for this. I can give it a try, I guess. But it won't work out very well. Uh, to be fair, I will have to kill everything else before I actually drop into the demon zone, so maybe I should switch back to my usual weapon. I don't know, I could give this a try. Alright. Didn't even... Apparently didn't even taunt that one. Guess that's okay. Pick up a corpse again. Not for very long. Look, this deals a fair bit of damage, I guess. It's not bad. I wonder how well it would work two-handed, because it is a great sword. Great swords usually are meant to be the two-handed. Probably does a lot of great scaling with that. Not a lot of great scaling before running into a bloody wall though. So avoid that. Yeah. Ah, shit. It's a two hit kill with that, but you know, it's. It wasn't very wise. Ooh. Right. Okay, since we are currently on lizard duty, let's go back to the item. Because lizards are 
do in fact take bleeding damage. But to be fair, these guys do in fact simply die quite easily. Get in the middle and then back, 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 back. I have a plot. It must not fail. Ah. Probably will fail. Hi. Wait, are you firing at each other right now? Okay, he's alive, that's a problem. Not for long. Right. Is there anything in any of these zones? No. Oh, he's backed up off a little. Kill him! And drink up. We've been noticed. Great. Hmm. I'm not entirely convinced what the safest way to handle this is. Maybe fire? Problem here is I can't run because we're in a sludge pit. That does take quite a few damage. Ah. Take another. These guys do not respawn. So once I have this guy dead, he stays dead. So what I need to do is make this guy dead. For that, this should do. Oh, they don't actually have a very strong resistance to uh, what you might call it slashing damage. That means it's plausible to just kill them all. Cool. Now the issue here is oh hi this guy this means you should get enough titanite uh, to upgrade my weapon then unless you die and should probably will repeatedly while we're here because i will not give up on this goal it's something that needs to be done Oh, wait, now it backed off. Okay, now I'm gonna drink again. Seriously? How did that... Fine. Do this. And torch. Do this. And torch. Ah, shite. He's shot off first. And I guess it's time to switch to greater fireballs because I don't have much else left. Ah, oh, shite. <sighs> As you previously proved, the sword damage is completely functional, so maybe I should do a little bit of that as well. But fire is really easy to use. Ah, why did I do this? Why didn't I just throw another great fireball? Why? Why? It's like I suddenly decided that no, I don't need to use my brain. 
Brace it for chumps. Yeah, that's the thing happened. Okay, so now I need to once again just get down there. Let's try that. And we are back here. Uh, huh. Alright, at least I can get an easy retrieval. So, souls will not be the question here. Why did he start off with great fireballs? Well, he jumps, that's what happens. Oh, he still took the damage there. Gonna have to roll out of here. Do a little health. Okay. The guy in the background is easier to kill in the regards of uh, I could potentially use arrows. There's nothing stopping me from doing that. Oh. Because he will uh, at some point uh, gain. I will at some point gain his attention, but then he will like, be like, oh, well, actually, never mind. Then it's possible to cheese the bastard. Oh. It does it. Quick! And I'm out of crit fireballs now. Yeah? If I roll away, he should return to his initial position. Which is the safest place for him to be in our perspective. Ah, oh, shit. Because that means we can just roll away and be safe. Because if he comes closer to us, uh, we risk the chance of him being able to strike and us from different angles. Uh, I do despise the fact that they can strike two walls when they position themselves right. On the other hand, technically so could I if I had the range of... I don't have the range. Seriously. Yeah. Okay, that... That just isn't... You know... Sensible. I just lost all my souls because I can no longer handle the traps. I think I'm just gonna do something different. I won't go about hunting these titanite demons right now. And instead I'm going to go and uh, visit the top here. There is a hidden passage there and such. Oops. This was not what I was meant to do. These guys I was meant to kill in a different manner. Oh, seriously? That's a long jump. Who's got the jumps? Can I hit both of them with this fireball? Yes, I can. That's more than enough to handle both of them. Uh, still gonna disappoint that I cannot actually bring myself to kill all of the titanite demons because I can't bring myself to secure the area first right now I tried and just kept dying wow seriously how I don't mind but how where's my retrieval I died down here I would have expected my retrieval to be down here as well also, I still don't know how to access those loots over there. Which is a problem. Because I need to loot everything. Okay, is there anything else down here? Yeah, I didn't think so. Huh. Well, I got one Titanite. Demon Titanite. I'm still going to need three more if I'm going to take my sword up to its maximum potential, but... Yeah, that's not gonna happen anytime soon. Thanks for that. Thanks for that. Now, this particular zone... I think I... was hunting down the Titanic Demons with my first character... first... Uh, catcher character, let's put it like that. And then I suddenly noticed that, oh hey! There was a message there regarding the whole go over here, find secret door, become rich, profit. 
on these things. Uh, which was, you know, just there. Ooh, drops an item. Detonate chunk. And those are extremely beneficial because um, once you go down to the um, blah, 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 to New Londo, with the ruins of it, I will find a large ember which I can use to upgrade my weapons up to uh, level 15. And up to level 14, the levels. The items that are used to achieve this goal are, um, I think it's, um, to be more precise, they will be, I'm really bad at remembering things, they will be titanic chunks. The first thing is, I was, I only just picked up a titanic chunk, you know, it should have remembered what I was talking about. But I did not. Okay, I'm just gonna see if we can go down there one more time. And uh, if maybe I can kill a couple of these things. Oh, actually, my sauce is still here. I didn't have a lot, but you know. I'm still here. Because uh, one of these axes bounced me off. Because that happened. You know what? I don't think that guy can actually endanger me down there. So, whoops, I missed. <laughs> so, two options. And I think I'm going to go with the easier one. Artorias and scrap the shield. We are going. Just go ahead. And um, head to the catacombs. With a plus four sword. It should be sufficient. I will be able to survive with it. Uh, plus, it should be pretty fish effective as well because undead. Uh, undead die really easily to divine damage from what I would expect anyway. And you get the double handed swing, which almost gets me killed. <laughs> That's fine though. That's fine. Honestly, being overwhelmed with, by losing this weapon might become troublesome. But, uh, you know, let's just try not to be overwhelmed. Keep the amount of enemies around me to a bare minimum. Wait. Oh, I think I got biggest issue right now is the fact that my uh, closest bonfire is quite a fair bit away. And yes, I know it's my own fault. I could have used the soul for something different, but instead I sacrificed it to uh, improve my Estus Flask. I could in theory still afford to kill one more uh, Firekeeper and improve another Estus Flask and probably then a London one in that case because I think I might want to keep the other character alive this time oh well on the plus side this sword really kicks undead butt bones look at it Butt bones kicked. Like, seriously kicked. Like, kicked far away. Like, butt bones. Another issue is. I don't remember which corpse was made when. <laughs> okay, this guy is gonna come alive as soon as we pick this up, so. No. Oh. Gravestones. Uh, pick the other one. You can access the other one. And then the other one. Yay! I'm quite satisfied with my decision to get this sword. 
At least now when I actually started to put into put it into use. That point just creeped me out for a second because I thought someone was going to come alive. But they were not. This guy though. This guy will be come alive. Oh, I even one-shot that guy. Yeah, I think this sword will serve as well. Except that you know for the speed. That should be fine. What? No, don't do that. Don't go around burying my butt. So the animation they were doing wasn't blocking it, it was burying. Okay, good to know. I will actually have to drink a flask. The bastards. Ah, wish you could pick up this giant sword here. It looks nifty. Plus it's a than a giant sword. Ah, binoculars. Um, I don't think I have any use for them. Also, uh, I, I think that now that my intelligence is at 20, we could actually get Big Hat to teach us spells if he wanted to, but I don't think I want to. Because spells are probably expensive and I have my pyromancy. That's about it. Uh, does anyone remember how heavy that bloody torch was? Because I think I might need that once I reach the tomb of the giants. Which is where we're headed, through the catacombs. Yeah, but currently we're just in the catacombs. Oh right. Those things. Um. You can't really fight them. So what you can do is torch. Once they're exploding. I think anyway. That it is at least what worked right now. Oh, hi. This, this is just the catacombs right now. It's not yet the really evil place when it comes to uh, being able to tell where your enemies are. Because in the Tomb of Giants, you really only have so much light. And so much light isn't a lot of light. Oh, they're coming alive as well. Cool. I like this sword. I was kind of very, very sad at first, but now that I know just how well it works, I'm no longer worried. Not sure if traps or pricks. Warning, just in case. Seem to be pricks. Ah, yes. Exactly what I need. Hello. A necromancer down here. Who would have thought? And a bonfire. That is ever so slightly rarer, but still... It's going to be really useful to us. In fact, it's time to light it up. Human up. And Kindle up. And then I'll call the episode here. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Are you the main route or not? Making it look like the main route. Oops.